Hello, my name is Dr. Dewan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the adipose tissue. Those who are new to my channel, please consider to subscribe me. Let's start our histology lesson on adipose tissue. The adipose tissue contain adipocytes. These are the adipocytes. This is in higher magnification adipocytes. The adipocyte stores the fat as lipid droplet and triglyceride. There are three sources of lipid for the adipocyte. The, adipo the lipid come to the adipocyte from the intestine as chylomicron and it is also formed as triglyceride in the liver. It is formed as triglyceride in the adipocyte itself. Okay, so the adipocytes are supported by connective tissue. We have connective tissue septa that is composed of fibroblast and reticular fibers and that contains blood vessels, capillary, venule we have two type of adipose tissue white adipose tissue and brown adipose tissue white adipose tissue is present in the adult and in the newborn the brown adipose tissue is seen this white adipose tissue forms around 20 percent of the body weight of the adult male around 25 percent body weight of an adult female okay so this is the brown adipose tissue it differs from white adipose tissue here we have multiple locule of fat in the in the white adipose tissue these are, these are unilocular one fat droplet for one cell and in white adipose tissue, this is the nucleus, and cytoplasm is very thin and very much close to the cell membrane, and that also contains organelle like a few mitochondria, a few the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, even the Golgi apparatus. It is found at the periphery of the cytoplasm. So if we just compare with that of the brown adipose tissue. Here, these are multi-locular, multi-locular. We have multiple locules of fat here. We have much more number of mitochondria. These are the mitochondria. And nucleus is not at the extreme periphery. It may be close to the center. And these cells are smaller than that of the white adipose tissue adipocytes. These are present in the newborn and they, their main purpose is thermogenesis to increase the body temperature and that will disappear as the child grows. But the white adipose tissue, these are part of the white adipose tissue here. This is the brown adipose tissue. The white adipose tissue is the adipose tissue for the adult and it is it forms around 20% body weight of the male and 25% body weight of the female. And the number of the organelle are less in the white adipose tissue. It is more in the brown adipose tissue. And you have to remember that in extreme conditions, some of the white adipose tissue may be converted into brown adipose tissue. Okay, this is the lipid storage and metabolism. Lipid store, lipid is coming from the capillary, capillary containing chylomicron, and that is acted on by the, the lipoprotein lipids act on the chylomicron. So free fatty acid enters the adipocyte, and here it is deesterified. It is again deesterified and stored as triglyceride droplet here okay we have also hormone sensitive lipase here 
and that life phase by the action of the hormone like growth hormone, corticosteroid, and also the norepinephrine that is coming from the adrenal medulla. It is connected to the adrenal medulla. So, so the norepinephrine and this hormone will, will cause cyclic AMP to be activated and there will be release of the glycerol and the free fatty acid. So this is cycle goes on here and the glycerol is water soluble. It is taken out by the liver and free fatty acid is mobilized to the body circulation. But the insulin hormone actually inhibit the release of free fatty acid and the glycerol. So identification, we have gone through the adipocyte. These are large cells with very large locule of fat. We have very much extremely peripheral location, peripheral location of the nucleus. The cytoplasm is very thin and close to the cell membrane at the periphery. That is the white adipocyte cell. The brown adipocyte cell has again a lot of mitochondria, multiple locule of the, the lipid and also the nucleus is close to the center, little bit eccentric function, main function of the white adipocyte is for insulation and it is lo localized under the skin and it also support other tissue it is around the blood vessel it is also found at the joint area so it is supportive and cushioning function of the white adipocyte brown adipocyte main purpose is thermogenesis to increase the body temperature especially for the newborn and in the newborn, it may be around 5% of their body weight. In adult, the brown adipocyte is absent. It is only present in the adult around the kidney and the adrenal gland. Leptin is the hormone-like substance, a protein, that is released from the adipocyte, from the white adipocyte. This leptin stimulates the metabolism of carbohydrate and the fat. And the leptin also work on the hypothalamus, on the satiety center of the hypothalamus. So it is also anorexic. It will decrease the appetite. So it is a very good component of the adipocyte that regulates the body weight. Hormones acting on the adipose tissue we have multiple hormones like that of the noradrenaline, growth hormone, corticosteroid insulin obesity is a clinical condition it is now epidemic all over the world especially in the rich countries due to inactivity overeating and lack of action of the leptin or its receptor there may be even mutation of the receptor there is also some type of inflammatory response in the body and there also there is some release of the cytokines from the adipocyte okay so tumor, yes, in the lipid, there may be chance of tumor, especially benign tumor, lipoma, but rarely from the white adipocyte, we may get liposarcoma, okay? In case of brown adipose tissue, there may be tumor formation, we call it hibernoma. Okay, these are my references. And that's all about the histology of, of adipose tissue or fatty tissue. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends and please subscribe my channel. Have a nice day. Bye now.